Hey guys, hello and welcome to my channel TSG. Today I will give you a demo of how to enable and configure MFA in Microsoft 365. So why I have used enable and configure? Because I would let you know how to enable as an admin and uh, how users will be able to configure MFA at their end. Right, so MFA is multi-factor authentication or it can be called as two-factor authentication. This is basically used to secure your login to Office 365 or maybe any portal by adding another step of verification past providing your regular password. So let's go to the demo without wasting any time. So guys, here uh, I'm logged into the Office 365 portal with the same account which we configured or which we registered with Office 365 uh, in the previous videos, you can see it is the same account. I am logged in as an admin. Now I am going to click on admin here. And please note down these steps which will help you to configure enable MFA. So right now I am logged in as an administrator and I am going to Office 365 Admin Center. Guys, here you have the users tab. You need to click on users, then active users. Then you have multi-factor authentication tab here. Right guys, users, active users and multi-factor authentication. So please click on this option. Okay, it's working. Great. Now guys, you have to select the users for whom you want to uh, enable the multi-factor authentication. So guys, let's select test MFA1 user, which I have created to test this multi-factor authentication only. Guys, right now I am enabling multi-factor authentication for a user and this user is test MFA1. So let's click on enable, enable multi-factor auth. Fantastic. So admin's job is done here. Now that multi-factor authentication is enabled for this account, we are going to open an incognito window and then we will log in as this user. Now the user part uh, starts here. So how user uh, will configure MFA at their end, we will follow here. So let's go to office.com directly and log in as this user. Test MFA1. This test account we created uh, in my previous videos where I gave you the demo of creating the Office 365 account and how to register for free. Please uh, watch my previous videos if you want that as a reference. All right, so now, now we are going to provide a password. All right. So guys, normally this user should be logged in. However, now that admin has uh, provided the uh, or enabled the MFA for this account, so user will have this screen. More information required, right? Now user just have to click on next. Then they need to follow the on-screen instructions. All right. So just to keep your account secure, it says download Microsoft Authenticator app. Now let me just uh, take you again to my presentation uh, because uh, it actually has the screenshots from the phone. Let me show you. Okay, now uh, as per the instructions on the screen, you need to download on your phone. On your phone, install the Microsoft Authenticator app. Guys, I have taken two scenarios here. This is for iPhone. So if you are an iPhone user, uh, you will go to your app store, search for the Microsoft Authenticator app. Then you have this uh, get button here. Uh, once you click on this and verify your identity, then it will take you, uh, it will download the application. It has the open option here in the app store itself. Once you open the application, it will have this page where it says agree to the terms and conditions. 
so let's agree to the terms and conditions because we need to go to the next step right guys all right so next uh, i am going to show you the interface on the android phone all right so uh, this is how android phone uh, looks like when you install the microsoft authenticator app uh, first you search for it and you get it install it and then you have the option to open it directly from there and then you have to agree the terms and conditions guys after this step all the uh, interfaces are just similar in the iphone and android application so we need not to explain both of them it just to tell you you know how to install in android and iphone separately so guys uh, here uh, it asked us to download the microsoft authenticator once uh, you have download the microsoft authenticator app on the device just choose next let's go with the simple steps right now we have downloaded and agreed to the terms and conditions in both iphone and android app right so let's go to next step all right guys when you will open the application it may ask you to allow notifications allow camera access these things which normally other applications also do so this is uh, just th this uh, on screen instruction is just to allow the notifications all right let's go next all right so now guys you have microsoft authenticator application on your phone and now it says to uh, it asks you to add account right so adding an account i will show you here guys after uh, reading uh, and accepting the agreement here any step which comes between this screen and agreement screen you need to skip that just come to the home page simply now uh, adding an account it also asks you to adding an account and uh, it go it gives you the scan uh, qr code here let's go to the application now guys you have the option to add account here and there is a plus sign at the top as well this add account option is here because you have not added any account yet otherwise uh, once you have added an account the only option would be this plus sign to add further accounts right guys so uh, let's uh, go to the next step when you click on this plus sign or the add account option it will prompt you the, the next step which is if you want to add a personal account guys personal account would be your microsoft personal account like outlook.com hotmail.com live.com any microsoft personal account which you want to authenticate with uh, with the help of this microsoft authenticator app but here we are actually configuring an office 365 account the microsoft 365 one so we have to select work or school account here all right let's go to the next step so when you select work or school account it gives you two options whether you sign in or scan a qr code guys remember that we have a scan uh, we have a qr code here to scan all right so if you will click on sign in then guys it will give you this next option here you can see uh, i have taken a screenshot test mfa1 at test 5311 on microsoft.com so guys this is a simple sign in process you will provide your password and sign into your account just to add the account here in the microsoft authenticator app other than this the second option which you have is to scan the qr code guys if you want to scan the qr code uh, if you click on it then it will give you the uh, next option if you have not allowed the notifications or the camera earlier then it will prompt you to do that otherwise it will open the camera directly and then you need to uh, you need to just go here and uh, just just uh, take your phone and uh, bring your camera in front of this qr code and scan this code as soon as you scan this code or verify your account with the sign in process you will have the account added like this you see in the red rectangle here this account is added to the microsoft authenticator now all right guys so this step is completed we have scanned or we have signed in and uh, we have the account added already right so now we need to click on next button here on the browser 
let's see what happens next so guys when you click on next you will get this option uh, i mean since it is uh, actually trying to uh, try the microsoft authenticator here so look at your phone screen and you will get this option to approve the sign in as soon as you click on approve you can see here it's working and notification approved uh, has come up here all right guys so now it is actually asking you to create an app password let me tell you uh, in brief about app password that when you use the two-factor authentication you cannot directly log into any application which is working on the basic authentication right so uh, in those applications you can use the app password let's say my outlook is working on basic authentication as of now so i will create the app password for outlook right let's click on next let's get the app password so this will be the default app password which will be given one time however app passwords can be created multiple times from the portal itself i will mention it in uh, my next videos later all right let's click on done now your authentication is completed now user will be able to sign into their account All right, guys now user is logged in this is how uh, the user interface works finally guys if you have any questions please post in the comments if you like the video please press the like button and subscribe this channel for future updates all right friends let's meet in the next video with a new how-to question thank you and bye for now